an all-new Guinness on Fox. This program contains images which may be disturbing to younger or sensitive viewers. Parental discretion is advised. Tonight, a Guinness World Record prime time. A record for the ages. <laughs> Watch in total disbelief as three world-class belchers fly to see who can rip their way into the record book. <laughs> it's the one head-to-head -head competition you won't want to miss. <laughs> From Sauvignon Le Bon, France, check out the record that Michel Pont has in his own backyard. We'll show you the Guinness record, the largest private jet collection, and answer the question everyone wants to know. Why? Also, two strong men made for a mind-bending Guinness challenge. We're going to attempt to take these skillets in our hands and roll them up like a newspaper. It's all about sheer brute strength and record-setting grit. All combined for the never-before-seen frying pan roll-off. Plus a Guinness exclusive. For the first time ever, five men and one woman inside a globe of death. What happens is you usually fly up into the globe and get ran over, which I've been ran over and I had all my, my ribs broken. Can they defy gravity, cheat death, and survive for a never-before-attempted Guinness record? It's real people, real danger, and real records. Stick around for Guinness Prime Time. Angela Studio, it's Guinness Prime Time. Good evening, and welcome to another edition of Guinness Prime Time. I'm Mark Thompson. Tonight we begin with a record that combines chemistry and anatomy. Scientifically speaking, when the human esophagus expels gas, it is a universal digestive reaction which Guinness and the world recognize as the burp. Tonight, we're going to crown the Babe Ruth of burp. <laughs> we're about to establish a new Guinness record for the world's loudest burp. Vying for that esteemed title are three worthy contenders. First up, we have the winner of the loudest burp contest at the 1998 Oakland County, Michigan 4-H Fair, John Osh. <laughs> Hi, John. Hi, Next is an oral surgeon and dentist from San Diego, California, Nick Gadler. Nick. Nice to see you, Nick. And a graduate student in France at State University of New York in Binghamton, Sandra Karkow. And bonjour, Sandra. Great to have you all here. John, before we go any further, can you give us a little preview of, uh, of your burping? <coughs> Nick, like a good dentist, would you provide us with a free sample? <laughs> <laughs> and now the demure Sandra. Let's hear a little something, Sandra. <laughs> <laughs> Sandra, what do you hope to do for a living once you get your degree? Ideally, once I graduate, I'd like to go into literary translation, translating French novels into English. <laughs> French into English? Yes. I understand, seriously, Sandra, it was actually your mother who helped get you involved in this, in our um, program. In fact, it was. My mother, from a very young age, always told me that girls can do absolutely anything that boys can do, and I've taken that to heart. See that, parents? You try your hardest, and this is what you get. Now, enlighten us, if you would, Nick, about your burping background. Yes, I come from a large family, uh, four sisters and two brothers, and... So you're sort of the Osmonds of burping, aren't you? Yes, we are. Yeah. I heard that you pressed a CD of you all burping together. Yeah, my brothers and I got together, and we created a uh, Christmas carol CD to human gas production. Here's a little taste of some of those Christmas carols now for you. Oh, that's... That really 
really brings the Christmas season back to life for me. Thank you. Now, John, how did you get started down this path of burping? Um, I've pretty much always burped all my life, and uh, <laughs> I got pretty good at it. And when I went to family functions and stuff, like uh, Christmas time and stuff, I found that they were really disgusted with it, especially my mother. So naturally, I wanted to do it, and I've been doing it ever since. Well, your mother is here tonight. Mrs. Osh, it is fitting you be here since uh, you were there for John's first burp. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the magic moment has arrived. We're about to determine who has the world's loudest burp. Here's how it's going to work. Each competitor, aided only by their burping beverage of choice, will be allowed two attempts to belch their best, while Guinness judge Michael Feldman will be keeping a close eye on the burpometer, as I like to call it, otherwise known as a common decibel meter. Our Guinness judges will tabulate the results at the end of each attempt, and you at home can play along and see who you think has the most outrageous oral outburst. For the show, we determine the burping order. First up is John. Now, for the Guinness competition, you will use a little pop? Uh, I'm going to try it without. Without? Interesting choice. Okay. So if you could take the position there, everyone will be the same distance from the microphone. We'll see if going popless affects John's first attempt. Three, two, one, burp. <laughs> Let's go to a slow motion replay. <laughs> That's going to be tough to beat. Solid effort there. In a strategic move, John has chosen to drink up between his first and second attempts. Are you ready? Okay. Go ahead. All right. Three, two, one, burp. <laughs> wow. Boy, he got a hold of that last one. That was unreal. Nick, are you ready to go? Sure. All right. So take your position there. You can see Nick fueling up right now. He knows he's got his work cut out for him. Three, two, one, burp. <laughs> the volume, Nick, but I did hear the second chorus of Silent Night right there. <laughs> Are you ready for attempt number two? <laughs> Three, two, one, burn. <laughs> yes! That's definitely better than the first one, but is it enough? All right, Sandra? Yes. It's your attempt time. Okay. So Sandra will take her position. Like those of you at home, Sandra has also heard those first four attempts. She knows she's got to go deep. Three, <laughs> two, one, burp. <laughs> wow! The Guinness judges physically blown off their chairs. I mean, that was the long ball right there. That was great. And while that burp was pretty good, she knows that she's going to have to pull out all the gastronomic stops here. Three, two, one, burp. <laughs> Another winner. Sandra Karkow. This audience knows a good burp when they hear it, and you can see a moment of Sandra taking in the adulation of the audience. <laughs> Unreal. All three of these guys blew us away, but there can be only one champion. In third place with a burp measuring 103.1 decibels, Nick Gadler. In second place, a burp measuring 108.7 decibels, Sandra Karkow, and now with a burp measuring 115.2 decibels. The first ever Guinness record holder for the loudest burp is John Osh. Our new Guinness record holder, John Osh, ladies and gentlemen. We'll be right back.